Hi there. My name is Hassan Tariq, and I'm a Principal Solutions Architect with AWS. Today, I want to show you how to copy data from SharePoint into Amazon Simple Storage Service with Amazon AppFlow. Amazon AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that helps you securely transfer data between SaaS applications, such as SharePoint, Google Analytics, Facebook, and many others, and AWS services, such as Amazon Simple Storage Service and Redshift, with just a few clicks and without writing any code. Here is a reference architecture of what we're gonna build today. We will use Amazon AppFlow to connect to our SharePoint instance and securely transfer data, such as files, into Amazon S3. Now let's go to AWS console where you can find Amazon AppFlow under the application integration group. In order for AppFlow to work, there are two constructs that we need to build. The first one is called a connection. And this is a physical connection between the Amazon AppFlow service and your application. So we will choose SharePoint from the list of connectors and we'll create a new connection. We will give the connection a name, provide tenant ID that you can get from your SharePoint administrator and we'll click connect. Amazon AppFlow will launch a dialog asking us to log in into the SharePoint application and to authorize the permissions that are needed for the AppFlow embedded login application to be installed so AppFlow can securely connect and communicate with SharePoint. Now we have our connection created. Let's create our first flow. From the left menu, navigate to flows and then click create flow. On this flow detail screen, give the flow a name and leaving everything as default, click next. On the next screen, select your source of data, which is SharePoint, and then select the connection that we just created. Now with SharePoint, you can select a SharePoint site to pull data from. So we will select one of the sites here. Selecting SharePoint site, will display a list of resources the site contains. In this case, it's a list of folders. So I will select the document folder and uh, for the purpose of demonstration, let's choose Amazon S3 as destination. I've already created an S3 bucket, which I'm gonna select. While transferring SharePoint objects with Amazon AppFlow, you have two options to trigger your flow. A run on demand, means that we will need to trigger this flow manually from the AWS console or via an API. Run flow and schedule means we can configure a flow to run on regular time intervals and bring data in. We're gonna use flow on demand. On the next screen, we will select the source and destination field mapping. In this step, we need to select what fields from SharePoint documents we want to bring into Amazon S3, which is our destination. I'm not gonna add any filters into my setup. This is everything we need to do. The last step is just a preview and then we need to create our flow. And because this flow is an on-demand flow, we will manually have to run it through the AWS console by clicking the run button. As you can see, AppFlow was able to connect to SharePoint and bring documents into S3. Now, if you go to our S3 destination, you can see that we have a folder. And inside this folder, we have the documents retrieved from SharePoint. We also have a file that contains detail of all documents retrieved. Now we can choose to preview our data by using S3 select. So I will select our object and click query with S3 select. By default, AppFlow will bring the data in JSON format. I will select JSON as output format and we will run a select star from S3 object query. As you can see, we have our data visualized here. Thank you for joining me for this five minutes demonstration on how you can bring data 
from SharePoint into Amazon Simple Storage Service using a fully managed no-code service called Amazon AppFlow.